Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to Tech Life. Uh, my name is Julio. Thank you for being here. Um, I know it's been several weeks since I put out a video. It's actually been, I think, almost three weeks since my last video. So let me fill you in. I'm outside working on my truck, so hopefully you guys will excuse the setting. I had all my computer set up with my lights and everything inside the house, but since I had to be out here, I thought I'd just go ahead and shoot the video. Anyways, um, so the past two weeks, we are in week 18 now. We are in week 18, just started week 18, and that is working with a different kind of database, which is called Mongoose. These are NoSQL databases. We just finished, oh, give me one second. I'm working on the tune on my truck. <laughs> All right, sorry about that, guys. Um, yes, yeah, so we are working on NoSQL databases, uh, which is Mongoose. And before that, so the past two weeks uh, was our second project, our second group project. And then um, <clears throat> from week 13, which is when I put out my last video, week 13, 14, and 15, um, 13 was a continuation of, week 13 was a continuation of Express. Basically, we're an Express, I think, the rest of the time um i guess until we well no probably the whole time so <clears throat> and then week 13 was express week 14 we got into handlebars which is a templating engine for um creating dynamic html i guess is the easiest way to put it um we use handlebars in the class uh here's a tip for you guys learn your handlebars we don't spend a ton of time in great there, there wasn't it, we don't go into great detail in in teaching handlebars but you're going to use handlebars the entire time or at least we're still using it right now um so it's important that you get a good grasp on it i i kind of ignored it and um i had to go back and kind of watch the videos and teach it to myself a little better um but but learn learn handlebars. It actually is kind of cool once you understand it. Um, and then uh, after that, we got into um, MySQL, and we just kind of build on MySQL first, just using MySQL, and then going into uh, SQLize, which is a ORM for MySQL. And the same way that we got into the ORM for, and I'm saying ORM, into the ORM for uh, SQL. Um, we are going to get into Mongoose, which is the SQL for MongoDB, or the ORM for MongoDB. Um, and that's kind of where, that's kind of what's been going on since then. Um, it's been a very hectic schedule for me, which is why I've been kind of late on making some videos. Um, I think I've said this before, the pace and the learning and, and the expectations of, of you really really go up um the second half of the program so it is very important that you that you really buckle down and if you've kind of been able to just kind of skate by with you know maybe just class lessons or not really doing a ton of studying on your own um you really want to do that now <laughs> or the second half of the course um, because falling behind on the court or this the second half of the program really starts to multiply quickly and um, the issues will compound on you because everything every week is going to build on the previous and there's nothing that you can really um, not get that well which is the mistake I made with handlebars I thought I could I thought it was gonna be just like a week or two I didn't but it's not, <laughs> we're still using it. Use your tutoring. I will say that Mongo is easier to understand once you go through, um, once you get just a general understanding of databases. Um, so even though, even though Mongo was pretty different from SQL, uh, it seems a lot easier to, to learn just because um, a lot of the, a lot of the it's not completely new. So our final project is coming up in a few weeks already, even though we just did our group project. So uh, project one and project two 
are group projects that and the groups are assigned by the TAs and your final project can either be done by yourself or in a group of your choosing and um, I am still trying to decide what I want to do and then after that it's uh, graduation and try and get a job so yeah that, that's that is kind of where I've been for the past few weeks. 